Hey YouTube, my name is Roland and I wanted to show you guys an awesome product today by Agawa Canyon called the Boreal 21 Bow Saw. This bow saw was funded using Kickstarter and I was one of the original participants with it because I was so excited to have this bow saw. I waited months for them to finish it and it was worth all the wait. Um, let's go through some of the features of this bow saw. It uses standard 21 inch bow saw blades they offer three varieties when you purchase it. You can get the standard dry wood blade, which this one is. They offer their proprietary aggressive cut bow saw blade. They also offer a standard or multifunctional green wood bow saw blade. My personal favorite is the dry wood. It doesn't slip around much and it doesn't uh, jump around when you're cutting with it. It's nice and smooth. And uh, this is actually a standard Baco 21 inch bow saw blade, so it does work with other brands. Inside the handle is a lever with a notch at the bottom that hooks into the bottom of the handle and applies tension to the blade, creating a nice firm and easy to use blade. If you pull this out, you can pull this directly away from you, pull against to tighten up the nose of the bow saw. Flip this back and the teeth are actually pointing inwards towards the groove of the bow. You can flip the handle over and you have a streamlined and simple, not sharp, edge of your bow saw. One of my favorite parts about this is that since they rounded all the corners and this protrudes beyond the blade. You can stuff this into your pack and you don't have to worry about puncturing some water bladder or anything that you might have in there. The handle is a polymer, while the inside of the handle is aluminum. The spine and nose of the bow are also aluminum. The lever is a polymer. The locking mechanism for the blade is very simple. It's a bolt with a nut on the outside. You can get this off with a uh, flathead or a leatherman and uh, the only problem with these is it's pretty easy to knock these off when changing them. So if you're changing it in snow or some condition like that where it's easy to lose, I'd definitely recommend keeping a couple of spare of these inside of your pack to make sure that you've always got some to replace in case these fly off when you're changing the blade. The polymer handle is very comfortable to hold on to and it has a little groove here at the bottom that your pinky can rest on so that you don't run up against the blade when you're using the saw. The handle is extremely generous for the size of my hand and I have fairly large hands so even if you had much larger hands you could easily find this to be comfortable to hold on to. I'd like to show you guys how simple it is to fold the blade. Simply fold it back, grab the lever in the, in the ridge of the spine, pull down on the nose, lock the lever notch into the base of the handle, and then tension the blade. Folding it's just as easy. You can pull the lever out with your finger, Got to reach into the uh, back of the handle here. Pull that out, release the lever, and straighten out the nose so that way it folds easier. Grab the lever, pull the blade back into the spine of the bow saw, put the handle back. Again, I'll show you a little bit how quickly you can tension the blade once you're used to it. I think one of the main advantages of this bow saw blade, besides the full-sized 21-inch blades that it can take, is the large area for cutting wood that you have. The depth, the depth of the blade at its smallest is a little over four and a half inches, and at its greatest. Once it gets close to your fingers, about six and a half inches. 
So if you don't go all the way, you can cut, you know, six inch, six inch deep cuts, which is pretty, pretty generous for uh, a portable and uh, sustainable method of cutting wood. I think one of the major competitors to the Oriel 21 bow saw would be the Baco Laplander for bushcraft use. It uh, is really good because it's extremely compact, the blade is nice and strong, extremely sharp, and uh, it's good at dealing with, you know, smaller diameter of wood, but I think one of the major problems with this blade is, one, the obvious, it's not very large. You can't deal with a, a larger diameter of wood, but I think another major problem is how hard it is to sharpen the blade. If this is more of a use it until it's dull and then buy another one because they only cost 20 bucks. But the Boreal 21 bow saw, the blades are, the uh, tines on the blade are much further apart and much easier to sharpen with even just a simple diamond rod. Um, the cheap bow saw blade also offers the same advantages, but I think the major, most major problem that I ran into is it's difficult to fit into a pack because this is as large as it always is. You can't make it smaller than this unless you take the blade off, but then you're always going to have the blade exposed unless you put it in some clunky piece of PVC or have one of these cheap things that breaks pretty quickly. This folds up and the blade protects it. It protects your gear from the blade and it slides nicely into your pack. This bow saw acts as its own sheath. It is foldable and fits easily into your pack. You're not going to ruin any of your equipment by accidentally puncturing it, something with the blade because the blade is again pointing inward inside of the bow saw. I think some of the major problems with this bow saw is the cost. Spending about $60 on this bow saw is going to be too much for most people, or for quite a, quite a few people. Uh, if you're really into bushcraft, I would say start off with something simple like this, something lightweight, or go even cheaper for something like this. It costs about 10 bucks if you pay attention for a good deal. And then you'll get a lot of advantages that this offers. I think another con with this blade, this bow saw, is the rattle that it does. Um, it's really not a big deal when it's in your pack, you don't really notice it, but if you're stalking uh, an animal or something like that, it could possibly give you away. I would recommend getting a little piece of foam and placing it on either side of the blade so that this end of it doesn't really wiggle. They've actually notched the uh, the bolt that this goes on so that it actually locks pretty pretty e effectively in place inside of this. Make sure that's all focusing for you guys. They've notched it, and I think it works pretty good. I mean, I, I struggle to get it off of there just for a demonstration. But again, it still rattles. Another problem with this are these little uh, nuts on the outside that are spring-loaded so that if you push it off, it's possible that it could spring off into the dirt or something and you're not going to find it again. Let me show you the removal of this. You can uh, take your Leatherman, place it to the side, make sure it's in camera for you guys, push it off. and if you're not careful, it's going to shoot off. But it's not that big of a deal if you just pay attention to it and only change it in a place where it's not going to shoot off, kind of more of an enclosed area or do it over top of your pack or inside of your pack uh, just to make sure you don't lose that. But again, these are very cheap. You can just go to a auto shop, buy a couple of these and put them in your pack and they weigh less than a gram. They offer three kinds of uh, carrying cases for the bow saw. This is one of their leather cases that they offer. 
It has an adjustable strap on the back that you can throw over your shoulder with some strong metal connectors and some really good stitching that goes through the back. Very strong, beautiful stitching. In the back of the case they offer a place to tuck in spare blades, which is really useful because you can carry a couple different types of blades. On my bow saw, I prefer the standard dry, dry wood bow saw blade. They also offer their proprietary aggressive cut Sydney Rancher bow saw blade. I found this to be very good with uh, green wood, but I found it difficult to cut dry wood with it because it was cutting so deeply it would kind of jump around when you're cutting with it. So I, I like the, uh, this is a uh, standard Baco bow saw blade. I like this one because it's just nice and smooth and easy to cut and it doesn't jump around and tire you out. It's also compatible with uh, your standard greenwood or multi-purpose bow saw blade. And again, these are all standard 21 inch bow saw blades. They offer two colors for their leather sheaths. This is the standard buckskin smooth leather finish with the same strap and uh, hardware. I'd like to show you guys some more up close shots of this Boreal 21 saw, how it folds. Can't really see much in there. Uh, let me light that up for you. You can see the lever and blade within the handle when it's folded. It's got some Phillips screws to keep the handle attached to the aluminum that is underneath it. So it's polymer wrapped around aluminum with some screws holding it in. I haven't found these screws to come loose at all. Uh, they, put a, they did a really good job when they put them in initially and they don't come out. The lever has another nut on the side with a shorter bolt going through it. You can see the uh, ridge for your finger on here to pull it out of the handle. The spine of it is divided in two with a short nose on the front. Again, you can see the uh, notch that they cut. When you unfold it, it, the blade naturally wants to go into this little groove that they cut and you don't even think about it, it goes right in there. Very well done. The lever locks into the bottom of the handle easily and keeps it from slipping when you tension the blade. Overall it's very well made, nice and sturdy. I'm extremely happy with this product and uh, I'm not associated with them in any way. I did their Kickstarter and was very excited to get their bow saw. All right, YouTube, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for checking out my video, doing a review and demonstration of the Boreal 21 bow saw. Definitely encourage you guys to check it out and purchase one for yourself. I'm extremely happy with it and have really enjoyed using it and uh, practicing and learning bushcraft and self-reliance.